Hey, it's Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Glide apps and how to create an onboarding experience so that when uh, people first visit your app, they are forced to sign in or create a profile before they're allowed to see anything else. And so here I have a, a demo version of this. So here I have a My Profile tab, and you see that since I haven't filled out my profile yet, I'm getting this message. Uh, this message is a visibility setting, and um, this visibility setting is also applied to every single component that I have in this tab as well. So if they don't have a, a profile, they won't be able to see anything. They'll only be able to see this dialogue. All right, and so the visibility setting that I have set here is that if the email isn't a sign in user, so if they haven't signed in at all yet, they'll see this, but also if when the profile is false. So if there's not a profile, then they'll see this message. And creating this uh, condition was pretty easy. So here in the data tab under my player inventory, I have the columns here that I want them to fill out. So they have to create an avatar, they have to have their name, they have to choose a guild, and they have to update, update their biography or their about me kind of thing. Um, and then I have uh, an if then else, the very, very end here called the profile. And the way that this if then else works is that if any of those columns are empty, it's going to spit back false. So um, if, my, if the avatar is empty, if the name is empty, if their biography is empty, if their guild is empty, it's going to spit back false. Otherwise, it'll be true. And so only those that have the filled in columns can be true. Now, if you wanted to sectionalize a little bit, you certainly could. So for example, if uh, they put in their name at least, maybe they'll get a different message. You could have a different if then else as well and set a secondary uh, visibility setting for certain components based upon what they filled out in their profile and which they haven't. By all means, I just did a one or all or nothing kind of thing. And so here I have, it's either false or true. And then uh, the components are looking for that false or true. So once all of those columns have been filled in, they are no longer empty, and then this profile should be turned to true. So to uh, test that out, I'm gonna go back here. And right now I'm viewing it as a different user. And so I'm gonna fill out information on behalf of this user here. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and select an avatar. All right, so now that they've all been filled in, I hit done. Okay, and now that I've completed all of those uh, fields, you'll see that uh, now I have access to all of the uh, components that are in here. Pretty neat, right? Now, the one thing that didn't show up is my rank image. I wonder why. So here the rank image wouldn't show up. Oh, could never set it. Is true. There we go. All right, so again, to test this out, if I were to like maybe delete my username, can I do that and still submit? No, okay. So if I make it not required. All right, I'm going to delete it. So it's empty and I hit done. Again, you see that it takes me right back to here as well. Okay, so if I were to put, that, put it back again, beep, some lag, done. And there we go. Now, I also wanted to have other components throughout the app also tap into that as well. And so for here example, I have my shop. All right. So the shop is only available if they've completed their profile. So if I have edit this and get rid of the username again, done, let that save, and I go back to my shop, again, it doesn't like it, delete, done. All right, go to the shop, again, I'll see that same message as well, All right, and then it gives me instructions on what to do. And this is just a rich text again. Uh, it's checking for visibility settings. Uh, this was a little bit trickier to complete. What I had to do was first create a relation um, that uh, on this screen of all the emails that have not yet completed the profile, and I had to do a lookup uh, to those emails. And now this is not checking the true or false uh, has a profile. Instead, what it's doing is checking to see if um, they're not the signed in user, because uh, the way that this is working go to uh, that page here. So um, I'm looking up the has profile and it's spitting back the email address whether that's true or false. Then I'm doing a relation um, and getting the email addresses for all of those people that have completed a profile. And then that allows me to know whether they're a signed in user or not. Um, the way I merged getting the true false of the profile to getting in the email address is located here. And so uh, here, 
I'm doing a lookup of that has profile from the player inventory. So there's my true false, whether they have a, a profile or not. And then I did an if then else. So if it's false, then it's going to spit back emptiness. If it's true, when they do have a profile, right, it's going to spit back the email address. And then now I'm doing a lookup um, of this email address and then doing a relation to make it an email column. So that way uh, Glide can check that it's assigned in user. And that's how I'm doing it there. And so if I wanted to repeat this in my other components, I would have to have that same sort of logistic um, in my other tabs here as well. All right, and that's it. So now if I go back to my profile and put in my username again. Right, so now uh, I now have all those components available to me here and the shop is now open to me as well. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.